16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The Mass intention today is for Mary Lynn Baker. Brother Craig Damon from Glen Mary Home Missions will speak at Masses next weekend, sharing the Glen Mary's ministry. Please come prepared to listen and help with financials. Holy Spirit Religious Education and Youth Ministry are having shared meeting for parents and volunteers on July 25th at 6 p.m. in the church basement. If you have a school-aged child or want to volunteer, please join us to discuss the direction of these ministries, what you would like to see, and what you are fit in. A meal will be served. Please bring a side dish to share. Families are welcome to join. Please join us for a pool party on October, August 1st, McKinley Park Pool, it's a paint party, and on August 13th at St. Edwards. All ages are welcome. Please check the Youth Ministry page in the bulletin for more details. Once again, our parish is helping with the summer lunch program. You can help prepare and serve food August 5th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Approximately 150 meals are needed each day. See the bulletin or contact Marsha Moore. Please join in singing our entrance song, Gather Your People, number 310. let us worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Friends, we gather together to worship as one family. Indeed, it is the Lord himself by whose love he has gathered us together as his people. And today we are connected in this Eucharistic celebration with the tens of thousands gathered in Indianapolis to climax the Eucharistic Congress. And we join all God's people all over the world to honor Christ in his one body. And we pledge our commitment, renew and pledge our commitment to him to be a people of life, a people of peace, a people of repentance, a people of holiness, a people of harmony. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Woe to the shepherds who misled and scattered the flock of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, against the shepherds who shepherded my people, you have scattered my sheep and driven them away. You have not cared for them. But I will take care to punish your evil deeds. I myself will gather the remnant of my flock from the lands to which you have driven them, and bring them back to the meadows. They shall increase and multiply. I will appoint shepherds for them who will shepherd them so that they no longer fear and tremble, and none of them shall be missing, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will rise up a righteous shoot to David as king, and he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. And the days of Judah shall be saved. Israel will dwell in security. This is the name they gave him, the Lord our justice. 
The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus you have once were far off, have become near to the blood of Christ. Free is our peace. He who made both one and broke down and dividing wall of the enemy through his flesh, abolishing the law which commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself one new person in place of two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enemy to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, we both have access to one spirit to the Father, the word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good, all and all the time, good. one of the weekends when our masses are least attended is when we have county fair or state fair. Maybe we should plan to have, um, as part of the county fair, to have a mass, co um, county fair mass. 15 minutes, just 15 minutes for the fair uh, participants so that at that point, it is mass. Well, friends, today our word of encouragement is concerned for our well-being. He is concerned for our well-being. I mean, Jesus is concerned for our well-being. It is a joy to be cared for by Jesus. How do you feel when someone maybe tells you or sends you a mail or an email or a text message saying, I am thinking of you. You are in my thoughts. I am praying for you. If you are so happy that a human being, your fellow human being, thinks about you and cares about you, how would you feel or how do you think that you have Jesus, the Son of God, the ultimate one, being concerned for your well-being? And the only reason that we attract Jesus' sympathy and compassion is that we need Jesus. He's the one to long for. He's the one to hunger for. And he deeply is concerned about our well-being. In the gospel, after the disciples had reported on the work that they had done to Jesus, Jesus does not deny them of their well-deserved rest. And even as the disciples take their rest with Jesus, the people persist and the troop to them. Seeing the people, Jesus doesn't ignore them. He is moved with pity, with compassion for them. And he begins to take care of them, providing them what they need most. He supplies what their soul needs. He teaches them at great length. And so because God cares so much about us, God is always very unhappy when the people he has given us in leadership position do not care about the well-being of the people. And the prophet Jeremiah makes everyone hear it in the first reading that God is very unhappy 
when his shepherds do not care about the well-being of the flock. God himself will take care of his flock. God himself will raise someone who will be, who will be concerned about the well-being of his children. That is why we have Jesus, whose blood has broken every barrier that entangles us from experiencing the peace that Jesus Christ brings. Especially the blood of Christ has broken the barriers of divisiveness, of enmity, of hatred, of conflicts, so that he has made all of us one into a family, one body of Christ. Can we also say that we care about others' well-being so much so as much as ourselves, so that we want to live in harmony with everyone else? Now, knowing that we have someone who cares so much for our well-being, what shall we do? First, let us hunger for Jesus. Let us long for him. Let us desire for him. Let us place him above everything that we seek in this world because he's the only one who can give us the rest we need. He's the only one who can satisfy our true hunger, the hunger of the soul. After all, when our life comes to its end in this world, when we have done everything, we have set everything in this world, and when we are laid in the about six feet casket, and our hands are laid down, who shall give us rest? What shall give us rest? Except Jesus, our Lord and Savior. That is why it is important to hunger only for Jesus. And when we have Jesus, we have everything. Secondly, knowing that we have someone who cares so deeply about our well-being, let us therefore give all of ourselves to every mission that is entrusted to our care. Remember that Jesus never denied the apostles the well-deserved rest. We too, when we commit our time, our talent, our energy, our strength, everything, our treasures to the mission that is entrusted to us, God will never let us go empty-handed. He will supply all our needs according to his graces. Maybe we are parents taking care of children. Maybe we are teachers taking care of students. Maybe we are in leadership position in the church. God is calling us to be committed to our mission, knowing that he has got our back and he is going to supply all our needs and give us the rest that we need. Even at home, children can also be people who care about the well-being of others. Maybe you are a big brother. Maybe you are a big sister. The things that go on at home, can you ask yourself that I am doing this, I am living this life in this way, I am helping out this way because I think about the well-being of my little brother, of my little sister because I want to set a good example of, for my little brother, for my little sister, because I care for his or her well-being. Well, not only the big brothers and the big sisters set the good example for us. Sometimes even little sisters and little brothers can also care about the well-being of our big brothers and big sisters and of our, of our parents by doing what we have to do at home, by being a people of peace, by being a people of community, always ready to lend a helping hand because we care for the well-being of the other. As we celebrate this Eucharist, may we bring all our anxieties, may we bring all our worries, may we bring all our cares to Jesus Christ at the altar because he cares for our well-being and having experienced his peace let us go out there to share that peace by caring for the well-being of others also god is good 
And all the time, Friends, God, our loving Father, has spoken to us in his love. We respond in faith with the Nicene Creed, page 9 of your Missalette, the Nicene Creed, page 9, as we pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate on the Virgin Mary, and became my name. For our sake he was crucified on the cross of he suffered death and was buried, and he rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is the Lord and glory of God, who has spoken. Friends, the heart of Christ goes out to his flock on earth. In the name of that good shepherd, let us ask the Father to fulfill our special needs. For the church and his shepherds, and for a deepened spirit of service to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the world, with the Lord as our shepherd, guide us to preserve his verdant pastures and provide for clean and restful waters, we pray to the Lord. Lord For favorable weather, abundant crops, and timely beneficial rains, and protection from storms, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are suffering from natural disasters, may God give them strength to go forward, and may they find the path to rebuild, we pray to the Lord. That Christian husbands and wives will be blessed and strengthened so that the love of God will be made very visible in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for this gathering of the, this flock of Jesus Christ and for our pastor who shepherds us, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all our deceased brothers and sisters, especially Mary Lynn Baker, for whom we offer this Mass. May they rest in eternal bliss. We pray to the Lord. Deep in the silence of your heart, place your personal intention before God who cares about your well-being and is calling you to also be concerned for the well-being of others. Father of the flock, hear the prayers of your people gathered at the banquet you have prepared and ready to offer the sacrifice of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The ushers will now take up a collection for the continued support of our church. Thank you for your generosity. Please join in singing our offertory song, On Me and God, number 453.
dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself for your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Beloved, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us such day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Thus, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Amalekites away the sons of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in singing our communion song, Peace is Flowing Like a River, number 534.
Parish Community Prayer for Eucharistic Revitalization. O oh Jesus, my Lord and my God, I come to you this day to praise you and adore you, to thank you for all the graces you bestow on me in the divine sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Open my eyes and heart fully to know you are truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity in the bread and wine offered in this mass. I believe, Lord. I love you, Lord. I offer my life to you in reparation for all those who do not know you, love you, or believe that you are here in our midst today, tomorrow, and always. May the Eucharistic night a fire of love and gratitude in our hearts so that we may share your love with all. This I pray with all those who are in your presence with me. In your own name I pray. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is good, all the time. and all the time. God is good. Yes. As you heard in the announcement earlier, God willing, next week we have our missionary appeal. You know, every year someone comes here to talk to us about uh, their missions in some other part of the world, and we contribute by giving them money to support the mission. It is our duty as disciples of Christ to support the mission, not only in our own church, but also, I mean, not only in our own parish, but also somewhere else in the world where they need our help most. The Glen Mary missionaries will be here next weekend, God willing. Brother Craig will be with us to conduct the missionary appeal. Just as you have always been doing, even to do it more, please prepare to give your monies to support the mission. Thank you for your generosity. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Please join us in singing our recessional song, We Are the Light of the World, number 601.